We are at uh, the box gym today. We're gonna do a little video content for the uh, the YouTubes. Let me just show you kind of like a warm up what we do. Uh, we're gonna do some kettlebell stuff for shoulder stability and then uh, a little bit of D-ball stuff, some stretching and uh, just kind of get warmed up, so. We got KBs, these are 35s. Already did a set with 25, I'm just gonna climb up, but in this rack position, locked out, loose grip, extend the elbow. We're gonna walk 100 feet down and back. All right, we're gonna switch over and show you some D-balls. That's a seven foot bar. We'll do another set, we'll bump up to 53s, and then we'll bump to 60. That's profitable. Turn the ladder some money. <sighs> Buy some equipment. Buy This is a 70. Okay, we're gonna do um, some farmer walks and some D-ball carries, just kind of some stuff before I get into conditioning. You probably don't have access to a D-ball, but these are pretty handy if you're at a gym that does. We got a 150 and then I got, um, I think a 200 pound sandbag. I'm gonna kind of work my way up and just do some carries down and back and then we'll do some farmer carries as well. Get the next weight up. So much? Knees over the toes. Been a while. So we got 150 pound D ball. This is the second set. Just gonna bear hug it. Shove it up against your diaphragm. Try to walk fast. Suffocate. Do you have many sets left? Wow. It's like three L quarters. Uh. 
Happy Journey. Oh boy! Guys, guess what? Today, we're gonna shoot left-handed in front of Ken Amai, archery coach. You guys know this, Josh Jones. He owns an archery shop, he's kind of been my guy. He's talked to me about this for a long time, about, hey man, you should probably switch to left-handed when you're serious. I think we're gonna try doing that this year through a process. We're not gonna completely give up on right-handed, but we're gonna order that left-handed bow. I set one up today at uh, 60 pounds, 27 inch, so last time I shot was 26 and a half. It wasn't long enough, today felt really good we set one up at 27 60 pounds and we're going to just kind of take bring you guys along as we slowly burn down the ships and commit to shooting left-handed i'm really left eye dominant threw a peep in there today to kind of really see for sure like can i look through the peep still see out my route right eye but definitely focus with my left and really that's what's happening so uh we'll bring you along and kind of show you the video and how it went down and kind of our journey so this is just for you guys to there's somebody out there who's in the same situation as me who has been shooting right-handed for years and they've been closing their left eye and they know their left eye dominant and uh, now it's time to to maybe think about switching well why not i'm gonna give it a shot and we'll bring you guys along the journey all right guys so we are going to shoot left-handed again this week gonna film it kind of check out the technique see how it's looking i threw a peep in real quick so we can kind of monkey around and start looking and see how, how dominant is that left eye. I'm pretty sure it's really dominant. Duck into it. There you go. Okay. Nope, I don't think so. It's such a trip to have both eyes open. Mm -hmm. Makes a big difference. The biggest part being able to see through things. So right, even yeah. if your peeps somewhat sideways, you can still see. And I can see the target, and then I can also, it's almost like you can go to the right for a second, but you can go back to what's. Yeah, you can move your strength around a little. I know nothing about that, because I'm yeah. right eye, and my right eye is not as strong as my left. It's, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not even a matter of what the strength is. It's a matter of what eye is doing the looking and what eye is doing the depth. Yeah. Period. Your entire life, one of your eyes is picking out your object that you're pointing at, walking towards, whatever. Yeah. The other one's figuring out how far away it is. And you've been taking the one that's trying to figure out how far away it is yeah. and aiming with it instead yeah. because you were stubborn. No, I didn't know better. You didn't, I didn't know, know better? Shit. No, in fact, I, can't, I think I told a story oh, last that's time. That's right. You went, didn't you go on to sportsman's and that's just what you did? I just grabbed a bow and started shooting. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, no. Right. That's, I think it's doable to switch to left-handed. Oh, I guarantee it is. I've, I've had, I have two, three people a year, every year. Same thing. I'm probably going to be one of them. I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna commit to it. I'm gonna order a left-handed bow and just slowly. You would be foolish not to. Switch to where I don't have any right-handed bows. I think I'll shoot better. I think I'll shoot better. Yeah. And that's what's exciting to me. Once you uh, once you start shooting that for about two months, three months, you won't touch one of the right-handed bows again. Yeah. You just won't even drop back. The only downfall being left-handed is, man, bows don't come out very often. It's like. Well, look at like Botex, for example. They still haven't even made a left-handed one. They've been out since November. 
Are January. you kidding me? Yeah, they're starting to build them next week. So it's not my imagination. Like, no, you're going to have to wait. Well, it, the reality of it is, what's the percentages? So, right handed sales are 80 to 90% of the sales. Yeah. Why would you make left handed bows until right. you fulfilled right handed bows? Because you can make them faster. Well, when you, Matthews when made a left handed. They did. They, they had some out first. 31 and a half. They were also clearly prepared. Should I order a 28 or a 31 and a half? Oh, for you? Yeah. Well, for the type of hunting you do, I would do a Let's 31 and a half, even though it's short. Now, if you're putting something together for tree stand, ground blind, not going past 40 yards, sure, you can shoot a short one. I was but thinking just to start learning on. I'd still go with the more stable bow. Okay. I mean, it's going to be way easier to get comfortable with. Yeah. You know, a, a shorter bow takes more skill to be proficient with than a longer bow. That's true. Bows are simply more forgiving. Yeah. So if you're relearning, yeah. you should relearn with what you're going to have the best success with so it's not discouraging. Okay, watch me on one more. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. How's my hand position? It looks pretty good, but when it comes to handheld, it's a little trickier. Um, I can't look at it and tell you it's good. You kind of have to feel it, and I can tell you what to feel for. It looks right. God. So. Everything felt pretty The ridge good. of your knuckles right here going across your yeah. elbow where it rolls up here. Yeah. Yeah, good. That's where it and is. And I again. definitely, I was like, oh, bring that down, and my shoulder blade just depressed. And felt better. And all of a sudden it stops moving around yeah. so much because you're not trying to hold it up with your shoulder. Yeah. You're not using your back. Crap. So this confirms I'm going to have to commit. Yep. Got to commit. Okay. I'm going to order a left-handed 31 and a half. I think you'll be fine when you commit to something. You do fine. All right, man. <laughs> be well, around. be ready to be coaching. I'm going to be a pain in your ass. Oh, you it's just the one weekend. Yeah. You can't have 